Okay, Sly, time for the main event. I've been looking forward to this. Every thief dreams of one day stealing a pirate ship. I don't know what it is, but it's like a total rite of passage. This is gonna be great. As you'll be the first on board, you might want to keep your enthusiasm quiet. If the Night Watch detects you, this whole place is going to get lit up with guards. The rest of the team won't stand a chance. Come on, pal. This is me you're talking to. I'm like a fourth degree black belt at this kind of stuff. Murray will meet you at the Jolly Boat. But remember, keep it quiet. Okay. Okay, we'll keep it quiet. What is up, guys? My name is Lapsan. Welcome back to Slide Tree Order with Thieves. In this episode, we are finally sailing away from this place. Looks like they mined the harbor after our last boat trip. Must have really spooked these guys. Yeah, I think we spooked them. Oh, by the way, you need to have the the thingy, the silent silent takeout move. I can't remember the name. But you need to have that before you can do this mission. Take these guys out and keep it quiet. Alright, we'll keep it quiet. You'll need the silent obliter level or something. You need that move. Otherwise you can't even start this mission. It's only a thousand coins, so if you don't have it it may take a while to get, but it's so useful that if you don't buy it as soon as you get it, then I, then you're just some kind of moron. Or you like challenge, that, that's also a thing that could be true. Alright, one more guy. Then we're done with this. We can finally sail away. God damn it, why don't you have any loot? Hoot hoot. We're done. Okay guys, the coast is clear. Come on up. Roger! I'll start rowing people over! Okay, the rest of the gang is below deck. Let's fire this puppy up. Once we raise the sails and get underway, it won't be long before someone on shore raises an alarm. No problem. We wasted that harbor patrol. The coast is clear. You guys did a great job, but they still have cannons mounted up in Skull Keep. I figure it's long odds they get gun crews into position before we're out of range, but it's worth mentioning. Then let's make full sail for the mouth of the harbor. If you guys are ready, I say we do it now. Every second we dilly-dally just puts us at more risk. Agreed. Murray, take up the anchor. Bentley, get down below deck and adjust the ballast. I'll hoist the sails and get this thing moving. Okay, Sly, you're in command. Sailing is easy. Hold down on the L2 button to turn left and the R2 button to turn right. Yeah, this is the mission. Um, if you fire the cannons, nothing really happens. They will start firing at you, but well, you're already out of range, so it doesn't really matter. So, there's nothing stopping you from just firing. And we made it, we're out of here. Now, this is the part where you might want to start. Um, after this mission, you want to start grinding money because this is the best place to do it. Okay, so it's always border from south, but that doesn't mean you can't go south. You can, but it just takes a little while. So there's a place where you have to go. Shouldn't be too hard. These controls, both controls are feel great. Well, you just need to turn left and right, and it's easy. Just click and you straight away start turning. Nothing too bad. Once we actually get to do some combat, it, it's even better then. We will, I will explain the combat bit, um, how the combat works in a bit when we actually have to go through a scripted battle. You're the captain. Turn our boat to give him a broadside with the cannon. If you 
you fire at them from the front or behind, our cannonballs will do tons more damage as they travel the length of the enemy ship. Yeah, so you actually have to move around and fire the cannons. But, and you have to turn the ship, which is, well, not a problem. Oh, that's the jump attack level 2 by the way. It's super useful because then you can just do this and whack the captain and once it goes to that level, let him go and whack his head. And you get a necklace out of it. Alright, we'll do that. After this mission you can actually, you know, get money based on if you sink the boat or, you know, loot the treasure. You've got the map, Sly. Select it as a power-up and read its clues to find the treasure. I believe the first clue is... Stand before the statue's gaze to begin your walk along the treasure's maze. Yeah, that's a thing that happened. So now that we got this, we can actually... You know, start treasure hunting. And after this mission, the final challenge in the first four chapters comes available, so... After this, you can go back and do the final challenge, which is pr pretty much a treasure hunt. And then you can have to... When you complete that, you finally 100% the chapter. Ooh, large diamond. Like I said, best chapter to start grinding. Why can't I have a single recording session where I don't get interrupted? Anyway, so yeah, the clue was, hold on. Stand before the statue's gaze to begin your walk along the treasure's maze. And well, that's your f your job to find it out where it is. But the game doesn't tell you. More pirates. They must have a ship anchored on the other side of the island. Stay clear if you can. No telling how many are on shore. Yeah, but you can take them out if you want. And it's a good idea because they usually have some treasure because they're pirates. Pirates always have some treasure. Except these guys for some reason. Oh, by the way, stay away from those guys. Those same alligators from Australia, except with a different color. I just noticed that they are exactly the same. Huh, they're sleeping, might as well just steal from them and let them sleep. Because it's rude if you interrupt their sleep, you know? Medium necklace. And steal from you. I can then just jump away. Beware of the alligators. Well, they really do have base here. Now you have nothing, so... Go away. Let's take a closer look at the ship. Nothing. Alright. Alright, they're just sleeping. I'll let them sleep. Because we got some treasure hunting to be done. Yarr. Alright, looks like this is it. What's the clue? Time before a statue's gaze, alright. Yeah, so now the game just leaves you X mark to know where you 
where if you have to run away, you just know where to go back to. So you don't have to start the thing all all over again. Take you twelve paces in the right direction of the statue's gaze. Right, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Right. If you need to leave math mode for a while, don't worry about it. You just mark an X on the ground, which will make it easy to come back and pick up where you left off. So what was the clue? X always marks the spot. Uh, shipmate, find the X and take you six paces towards it. So that looks like an X. One, two, three, fall down. Four, five, six. Right analog stick to scan your immediate area. It might be helpful to find this circle of palm trees mentioned in the group. Yeah, well, that looks like the place. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, and 18. Take 16 paces to pass between two great stones. Like a ship at sail, avoid the rocks. Right, 16, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Right, you'll need to leave map mode to solve this clue. Look around like normal with the right analog stick for this island with three palm trees. When you find it, bring up map mode again, and your direction marker will be pointing in the same direction. Right, so yeah, you have to be... Uh, Quite near the X, so you can actually see the clue. If you're too far away, you get nothing. So, what's the clue? Look out to the sea and spot the rock with three palm trees. Huh? Looks like that, so take a look and then 13, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Not all ships meet a, meet a happy end, but follow where they point. What ye must do for six paces. So one, two, three, four, five, six, and this should be it. Near the SOS. Got it. Well, Dimitri, it's your loot. I think you should have the honor. <laughs> I open with joy. You Cooper gang is a tight groove. Van Gogh Bullseye! The primo diving gear to accentuate my deep down diving style. It's so intricate. Your grandfather was an artist. I've never seen such fine craftsmanship. He had the juice. Check it. The gear even matches my suit. I can dance, dive, and accessorize. What else is in this chest? Aye. Let's get a good look. <laughs> Avat Laberl! Didn't think you could steal from the smartest man of the Seven Seas and not taste the repercussions! Ha ha ha! I might have been late for the opening of the chest, but I'm just on time for the stealing of the gold. Let Penelope go. We can work out a deal. Penelope be the lass's name. Purty as a sonnet, and what a rich sweet scent from the wench's hair. <sighs> Let's thump this chump! No, he'll hurt her! This guy's a killer! Hey! You sum me up with butter word! Killer! Away with ye! Back to your ship! This gold is mine now, but her death is yours! Take your choice! Guys, we don't have any options here. Everyone back to the ship. You can't just abandon me! Help! Please! I'm so scared! Penelope, do what he says! Stay alive! We will save you! I... I trust you. And I trust you still planning logging back to your ship. Away with ye. Now! Well, this seems too easy of a job. Well, of course not. So now what? The only goal at this point is saving our teammate and friend, Penelope. Left Wee's ship, the Death's Head, has sailed back to Bloodbath Bay with her on board as captain. Things look grim. 
There's no way we'll be able to sneak into the harbor. Even the back side of the island is inaccessible due to reefs. To put it plainly, we're in for a fight. Left we is an intelligent opponent, and we'll need to do everything in our power to stack the odds in our favor. First, we'll put Dimitri's new diving gear to use by salvaging some weapons from a nearby shipwreck. We'll need the extra firepower to deal any kind of damage to the armor-enforced Death's Head. It'll also come in handy for our second objective, destroying the Red Sail Sea Dog Clan. They're a fleet of mercenaries on Lefui's books. We need to surprise them now while they hunt for us in small groups. If they ever attacked in unison, there's no way we'd make it out alive. And finally, we'll set sail for the misty waters inhabited by a sea monster the pirates call Crusher. Reports on Crusher are sketchy, but we might learn something by analyzing its technique. I know for a fact that all of Lefui's men fear it. An impressive and useful trait, given our current situation. Yeah. That's our plan. Ooh boy. Anyway, day two, let's see what else there is to buy. We got... Nothing. We got nothing, we've unlocked every item there is. Pirate Operation, day two, yar. So our missions are... Battle on the high seas, Crusher from the depths, and the mission that stopped my first time playing this game, Deep Sea Danger. I'll explain why I stopped playing this game, once we actually get to that mission. Ah, that smooth frame rate from looking up. Anyway, next time we'll be doing Battle of the High Seas, and if we have time, we'll do Crusher from the Depths as well. Anyway, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time when we do these two missions. Now, if you excuse me, I will go grind some money and destroy some ships.